right all, welcome back to Beanie's Hobbies and we have got yet another printer review for a change. <laughs> now this one is, oh Christ, is a BQ <laughs> barbecue, I, I don't know how to pronounce it. But this is the B1 in pink. I mean, doesn't that just look stunning? I mean, it's not going to be your everybody's tastes, obviously, but I'm fed up looking at black printers all the time. So, yeah, me being me, I decided to go for a pink one. Um, now, I will say, this printer has got so many features on it. It is absolutely phenomenal. I have never come across a printer that's got so much on it. I mean, it's got things on it that you, you don't even need, but they're on it. Um, but we'll go through all that in a bit. So, first things first, in, in true Beanie's Hobby style, we'll take a look at the prints, and then we'll take a look at the printer. So, to start off with, the first two things we've got to look at is Little Teddy Bear. Now, this was already on the SD card that came with the printer so you can see here we have just a very small little teddy bear very 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 good detailing this print came out flawlessly actually right so then second up that was on the SD card was this little tiny tiny bobsaw Bob's are, Bob's are. I am no Pokemon master. Not something I've ever really got into. Um, but as we can see here, a clean, crisp print. And then finally, for a change, I went all out. Printed this. Obviously, wasn't printed all in one go, guys. This was printed in several parts. But we have the pistol from Halo. Um, we didn't have, not an issue as such, but you mean you can probably see here this line. Now this was due to me, this was not the printer. Um, I'll explain why shortly when we have a look over the printer. Um, I do have a slight little issue with this printer, which we will discuss. Um, yeah, because you can see here, I had a slight issue, nothing major, um, but I'd say that this came out pretty well. Obviously it hasn't been prepped and he's painting everything yet, but for the sort of third print from this, I wouldn't say it came out too bad at all. So anyway guys, that's the prints. So, so far so good apart from that one little issue. Right, now for the printer. So we have a build size of 235, 235 by 270. It's quite a tall printer. And she is quite a tall printer. Now, first things first, before we go into all the features and everything else, I want to talk about the little issue that I've been experiencing. I'm still experiencing it now. A slight design flaw. Um, it might put some people off. It kind of does drive me crazy. Um, now, what the issue is I'm having is with the belt tensioner down here. Now, what happens? I just have to turn this off. So. Now, what happens for me when the bed moves forwards and backwards? The pulley system this will rock 
and then that will squeak and that will drive you absolutely nuts. Now, I've tried tightening the belt, but the only thing is I can't tighten the belt, I mean, there's, you know, the belt's not that tight. Can't tighten the belt anymore because it will jam the stepper motor up. So while it was printing, I was obviously having a little sort of move around with the knob and I tightened it too much and it sort of stopped the bed. And that's what caused that line in the print. I, I don't know. I think it's because you can see it's, it's just loose. You can tighten it up, but then it will sort of jam the bed up. So there is a slight design flaw. This down here, I mean, I've taken it apart two or three times, and it's just, I, I can't see a way of, I mean, I can't see a way of sorting it unless I replace this. So that is something I'm going to have to look into at the future, because obviously when it's printing, you hear that? It squeaks, and it, it will drive you absolutely nuts. But that is the only issue I've actually faced with this printer. I mean, if you tighten this up, that <laughs> is the one annoying drawback. This needs swapping out or changing for something else because it just doesn't work. Anyway, that's enough about that. Okay, so we do actually have flexible steel magnetic build plate, textured surface, not had anything come unstuck or peel off. So and then to pop the prints off, to take it off and just give it a little bend and the prints will pop straight off the build plate. Obviously we do have heated build plate also insulated as well. Now moving up to the hot end, full metal hot end, we do have three fans, three cooling fans on the hot end. Very, very good design cooling fan system, cooling system on this. If I can just get you guys under here to show you. Now you can see under here we've got two fans on either side which come down to this duct. Which then blows air onto the hot end or onto the nozzle from all the way around. So the cooling on this machine is absolutely fantastic. Do also have an LED built into the back so this ring will actually glow various colours depending on how you set it. Now for connection wise on this, let me just zoom out, these guys have gone with USB type C connection so it just plugs straight into the hot end then roots around and plugs straight into the back of the printer Coming around the back here, we do have filament runout sensor. We also do have metal extruder, which is a nice bonus. We do also have touchscreen. Now, a nice little party trick about this printer, to turn it back on, is it's actually running their own software. But then, if you hold the control knob down, you can then switch over to use Marlin. So if you guys, I know the glare is atrocious, but if you guys are used to using this, then you have that option where you can use this and go through it normally. Or then you can hold the button back down again and you can go back to their own touch software, which actually works quite well. You've got all the settings you could possibly want on this machine you have literally got everything on here it is a very very good machine very feature packed I mean you can change all the knob the change you can change the color of the knob here for example let's actually turn it on and off oh, look what I'm doing really sorry blue purple violet off so you can change all your colors there is you can change your filament sensor on and off there is just so much on here that you can actually change and do it is unreal you can even change all the color of the actual marlin display as well i mean it is i mean obviously i was mentioned to you about the led on the end the hot end red green blue white 
<laughs> no, this is a very, very quiet running machine. Um, the only thing you'll obviously hear is the fans running on the hot end. It is very, very quiet. Build quality wise, I would say excellent. Obviously, apart from this one issue that I've had down here, that's the only issue I've had. Assembly, take you no more than sort of 15 minutes. Nice and simple and easy to set up. Very, very easy to use touch screen, like I said, with all the settings you can possibly need. Now, on the side here, we have a micro US micro SD slot. We also have a USB slot for loading um, your prints on to the printer. Then we also have another micro SD card slot and another USB another USB spot slot. Sorry. Now, as I mentioned about the bed, we have got heated insulated bed. Nice large leveling knobs to level the bed, nice and simple and straightforward. All round metal construction, flexible metal bed, and it is a very, very good printer. I mean, I've been getting some very, very good results. Very, very good print quality, apart from that one line that I had on that Halo pistol, but that was my fault because I was trying to mess around with this adjustment knob while it was printing and I did slightly cause the bed to jam so that was actually my fault. Um, I would have liked to have seen Dual Z on this but we do actually only have the single lead screw here at the back. Dual Z would have been nice but one's better than none because if we had none then obviously we wouldn't get it to print. Um, they obviously, this obviously does come in black as well because obviously you know pink isn't going to be for everybody. You know, I just want something a little bit different, something that would stand out. So we've got a full metal construction, quality build, nice and stable, prints well. Now we do have the touch screen like I mentioned, or we can go back to the classic Marlin, you know, that everybody's used to, especially if you've been using like the old end of five or the end of threes. Um, we don't obviously have an adjustment knob but you can just slacken them off to adjust the belt tension. And that is really about all I can say about this printer. At the minute I've been having so many printers sort of come in, go out, they all tend to sort of merge into the same thing. You know, once you've seen one, you've seen them all. They all print differently, they all behave slightly differently. Um, but obviously with this issue down here, you know, I, I don't know if because I've just got a bit of a duff one, or if they're all like that, I can't comment because obviously I don't have another one to compare it to. So this will drive you nuts if they are all the same. The squeaking noise will just, will, will do your head in, trust me. So I wouldn't rush out to buy one of these until we can find a fix for this. Um, I, I don't know, I like to say I'm going to have to try and find a replacement part for it or contact them directly to see what they suggest but this is a very feature packed printer like I said it is compatible with BL touch but I wouldn't waste your time it just makes things worse um, print quality is actually very very good now there are profiles on Cura for this printer so that's easy enough to set up um, does work incredibly well. You have got your power, you just see through here, you have got your power switch to set between 110 or 230 or 115 and 230, sorry. I mean the cables are all neat and tidy. I do like the USB-C connection, how long it will last I don't know. But then you do get these nice clean, I don't want to say clean lines without the complete mess and all the wires that you have of most printers. I do like this design. So yeah guys. Here's a printer that is worth having a look at if you're looking for a new printer. Apart from that, I've got nothing else to say on this printer. Feature packed. Looks cool in pink. Works well. Just a bit squeaky. Anyway guys, that's it for me for waffling on for this one. Uh, I've got many, many, many more print reviews to come. 
So I'll leave you for now and I will catch you all in the next one. Cheerio!